people always say no i am not used to speaking to the microphone it's not about what people think about you when that happens after that they become okay do you see i just say whatever i please not that you put more pressure upon yourself it's just that uh, you went and made a fool of yourself in front of a group of people so you don't want to make a fool of yourself how can you make a fool of yourself unless you want <laughs> you can't make a fool of yourself nor can you make a intelligent one out of yourself isn't it the way you are it's okay you are now in trying to be smarter than what you are that's when you make a fool of yourself you are generally not so hard upon yourself if there was no public watching you isn't it that's a whole thing if there is nobody watching you and you make a fool of yourself you're not hard on yourself you are very pardoning isn't it yes ten people were watching you and now the message of your stupidity is going to spread around the world that's what is bothering you <laughs> No, your very stupidity should bother you. Not the publication of your stupidity. Your very stupidity should bother you. That's when you will turn spiritual. It's not about what people think about you. You are foolish with so many aspects of life. That itself bothers you, not because ten people are watching you. When that happens, you will naturally turn spiritual. now you're only concerned about in front of 10 people it happened i think it's good a revelation is happening now why are you doing public speaking why are you doing public speaking you don't do any public speaking you just speak people always say no i am not used to speaking to the microphone tell them don't speak into the microphone you just speak microphone knows what to do <laughs> why should you speak into the microphone you simply speak microphone will do what it has to do isn't it and why are you doing public speaking If there is public sitting here naturally you will be you know there may be somebody who is going to pull you down out there i was recently for 8 10 days ago i was with a group of people in new delhi this person now he's little out of action but uh, he was at one time the prime minister's right hand man and he was a minister and he was played many roles he's gone around the world spoken to any kind of and every kind of group in the world we were just talking about something and uh, uh he said uh, even for i know this much he has been with some great leaders in the country like indira gandhi he's been next to her right through her power states and uh, he said the greatest leaders when they first stand in front of a crowd crowd there is a little bit of nervousness after that they become okay i said uh, 
this nervousness is happening to you because you claim that they are a part of you, but it is not true. That's why it's happening to you. If you truly saw that this is all a part of you, you're just talking to yourself, there is nervousness. You can say anything you want. Do you see? I just say whatever I please. <laughs> so, you don't do any public speaking. If you truly hold everything as yourself, you simply express what is true with you and that's all. Why would you be a mess and then why do you have to beat yourself? Let them have the pleasure of beating you. <laughs> if you're talking senselessly, they will have the pleasure of beating you. Why should you do it? Their job it is. Leave other people's work to their hands. You don't try to do everything, isn't it? If you talk senselessly, they will throw stones at you. Let it happen that way. Don't throw stones at yourself, it's not necessary.